Ecton H or standard X harness or even suspenders. Here, I hooked everything up in a more common, regular placard setup. So here we have a very similar configuration to like a standard chest rig. And to all the configurations I'm gonna show you today, I hate this one the most. You're gonna see it's just very limited compared to what the jerk harness and the jerk board and what all the other pieces let you do compared to just, I don't know, a placard and some straps. And why? Why is there always someone in the comments who says the chest rig is too low? There's no plates. So you don't have a too high or a too low. You can wear it around your ankles if you wanted to. You're not protecting anything with it. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, hey wizards. Now what do you say we keep this streak of unique new gear going as I found a chest rig that, and this may surprise all of you, that I actually like. Today we'll be looking at the Javelin Three Component Rapid Changeover System, or JERK. And you all may have seen my teaser when we talked about this earlier, but yeah, J-E-R-C, JERK. Javelin Three Component Rapid Changeover, Rapid Changeover System. I'm just gonna call it the JERK from here on out because calling it the Javelin Three Component Rapid Changeover System will make this video like 800 years long. In that teaser, I snuck in and showed some of the scalability of the jerk system already. And if you love the idea of a chest rig, I think you're gonna be super, super excited by what this thing can do. But before we get into it, let's take a moment and thank our badass new sponsor. Today's sponsor is Nocturne Industries. Experience the night like never before with the modular Daisho bridge to upgrade a single Tanto monocular into an articulating binocular configuration. From the professional operator to the outdoor enthusiast just seeking adventure after dark, Nocturne Industries has you covered. Night vision is obnoxiously expensive too and only going up in price, unfortunately. So thankfully you can use discount code TLDCO to save a good bit over at nocturneindustries.com. All right though, big thanks to Nocturne. So let's get back to the jerk and I wanna kinda talk about why this, of all the products on the market, is the one that's changing my mind about chest rigs. The jerk system takes a basic bore that you can customize and allows you to run the configuration from an ultra sleek waist wrap setup or integrate it directly into a hook and loop cummerbund for a fully up armored plate carrier system. Meaning you can just have one setup, like just one configuration. You don't need a ton of different placards and everything else, and then just scale it up and down for different mission sets. Or just have another whole board configured for like a pistol setup or like 300 blackout and then just switch out each of the boards in seconds and then have an entirely different loadout. I just really like the idea of having a system that can scale and then be able to swap out gear easily as the whole mission set changes. Now, as we look at more chest rig style things, I think we need an actual ranking. So let's see, there's nothing there. Let's see what we have now. Yeah, I probably need to fill this in as to what we've seen before, but it's currently empty. But after taking a look at the jerk and going over all of it, let's kind of see where it lands. I mean, it's the only one, so it's probably gonna end up on top. But let's see if we actually like it and if the system makes sense in a chest rig application. Now, let's go over a couple buying options because there's some different choices you could pick out on the website. And I wanna make sure you guys get the right stuff that you actually want. And yes, TLDCO works on the Javelin Concepts website also to save you money on everything we're showing you here today. Your first option is on available colorways. You can pick between Multicam, Ranger Green, Coyote Brown, and Black. Javelin also does some rare color drops now and again, so just make sure to follow them on Instagram where they do an absolute ton of giveaways over there too. And Instagram chokes the hell out of any firearm or gear company, so your chances of winning are likely pretty high. The next option is the available harness. You can choose none, the chest riggish functionality of the jerk harness, or the full Ajax 2.0 plate bags. And there's some magic to each of the different options, so let's go over each one so then you can learn which one fits you best. But first, let's start with the actual jerk base and show you how it all works. Here we have the basic platform that you start with. The jerk base is like a cummerbund on steroids. The outside is fully loop-backed to connect in placard systems or just have the outer jerk board in various positions. A unique configuration I found myself doing was to actually offset the entire board so I had more equipment available on my weak side and less on my strong side so I could just get to more gear. The rear of the base holds the elastic portion that allows the entire system to expand with you regardless of how you have it configured. 
this area also has Molly connections to allow you to connect in medical kits or other pouches on the rear of your back. Moving to the inside, we see loop line sections for future connection attachments such as side armor panels and pouches. We also see the rear panel hook is covered to protect your clothes in this configuration. I'll show you, but removing that cover allows you to connect the whole base in like a regular cummerbund into like the jerk harness or a full on plate carrier. It's all pretty sweet, we'll get to it. Along the front of the base are hook and loop connection points, allowing you to wrap this around your waist for a super quick and light chest rig style configuration. The whole system uses doubled up elastic to help keep the jerk tight to your body even when moving around. And I think I was the most surprised by just how much I really like this whole waist wrap configuration. It's simple, it's lightweight, it's easy to don, it would be super useful for like hunting or hiking or just a basic range day. And you're gonna see when we put it all together, it's got a ton more functionality than just a chest rig. But I know, I know there's gonna be some people out there that are gonna say, here in Texas, we don't take kindly to belly bands. And for those gems, the jerk base also has integrated slits to connect in quasim buckles, along with angled slits on the rear, allowing you to connect in H or standard X harness or even suspenders. Here, I hooked everything up in a more common, regular placard setup. So here we have a very similar configuration to like a standard chest rig. And to all the configurations I'm gonna show you today, I hate this one the most. You're gonna see it's just very limited compared to what the jerk harness and the jerk board and what all the other pieces let you do compared to just, I don't know, a placard and some straps. And why? Why is there always someone in the comments who says the chest rig is too low? There's no plates. So you don't have a too high or a too low. You can wear it around your ankles if you wanted to. You're not protecting anything with it. Doesn't make any sense. And this is the part that makes it all crazy. The jerk board is a panel that has five columns and 14 rows of usable molly, allowing you to have way more space than a standard chest rig. I just never understood why I would have this whole stupid rig just to hold three mags when I have pockets that can just hold three mags also. So I never understood why you needed this. Now I added in some hook and loop to raise the buckles up a tad and then ran the same chest rig style setup with the jerk board so you could see a far more functional overall setup. I mean, just look at this in terms of comparison. You have an absolute ton more expansion with the jerk board and you can change one of these out and just switch to an entirely different mission set or different caliber or just a totally different configuration and do it all in like a couple seconds. Here I took a lighter moving, more recon style 308 configured board and swapped it out for a 556 board with like a billion mags on it. I really, really found that running in the belly band style at the range was the most fun. I had access to my different gear and mags along with pouches to set things in without having to get out a whole contraption. Now, there's a bit of a trick to the board too. There's a pull tab on each side that does two different things. Pull on one side and the whole board comes off for a quick change into a different mission set or caliber. Pull on the other side and the whole board opens up for quick removal. Now, normally you'd set it up for right or left so you know which is which, but you can switch it upside down. So just, just pay attention to your orientation so you can always have one side that's quicked off and one side that quickly removes your board. But once you have it all configured, the thing that's crazy is it has this built-in system that allows for quicked off or quick board swaps in just a couple seconds. Now, one thing I've been kind of annoyed about lately is that more and more chest rigs have options for like admin panels and comms that really, really drive up the cost. And oftentimes, if you pay attention, you pay just as much to get the function to add an admin panel and PTT into your chest rig as you would for like a full-on plate carrier. And here is where the jerk harness comes into play, and this is absolutely one of my favorite bits. The jerk harness is basically a front AJAC panel that doesn't have plates, giving you the same shoulder connections, integrated comm routing, PTT connection points, let's just throw one of those guys on here, and quasim or G-hook attachment points for placards that you would see on a full-on plate carrier. Meaning this chest rig is a lot more like a mini plate carrier and instead of just holding three mags, I can integrate whole boards, I can put in all my comms and PTT, and this can just do every single thing that my plate carrier can do. 
And for someone that hates chest rigs, this harness just makes a whole ton more sense. And what makes it even better is you can hook the whole jerk harness system in. Let me show you how I did all this. First, detach the hook cover on the rear, along with on the front of the hook and loop. Then connect in the jerk base to the rear of the harness. Don the harness and connect the front hook and loop panels together. And voila, just like that, you end up with what I would call like a chest rig plus. It's not nearly as like Instagram-y as a chest rig, which is, which is just fantastic. And it seems a whole ton more functional because I can just configure it the same way I would do my plate carrier. We also retain the same functionality of our jerk board to allow for 14 full rows of connection for various pouches and gear, while still allowing you to quick swap out the whole panel for a totally different configuration. Since we also have all the plate care functionality, we could also just ditch the jerk board and connect in a more familiar placard system. So you really just have options on options with this where you can use all the placard systems that you already have or run totally different configurations with the jerk board. There's just a ton of different stuff you can do. And hopefully now you're seeing why I like it so much and there's another whole option to it because the whole thing can then upscale one more level to a fully up armored plate carrier. Here we take our Ajax 2.0 and lift the rear flap and we can connect in our jerk system and close the cover. Now when we don the Ajax 2.0, we just attach the front into where the placard goes and then close in our jerk board to wrap it all up. So now we have this fully up armor configuration that still uses our jerk board that allows us to switch all these pieces out for different mission roles in just seconds. Now, you can also put it on other plate carriers also. Here I swapped the jerk system into the defense mechanisms APOC, and now there's a crazy new level of functionality with the swappable board to make the APOC even more versatile. And the number of different configurations of all the different gear and plate carriers that I came up with was totally wild. And I'm definitely interested to hear all the different combinations that you all can think of. But let's go ahead and do some pros and cons. And the first big pro is the main one I just showed to all of you all. And that's the scalability of it all. From an ultra fast and secure waistband configuration to a standard, more traditional H harness to the plate carrier functionality of the jerk harness, all the way up to a fully armored plate carrier the jerk system lets you run one system and configure it in a ton of different ways. And we also saw that you can throw it on a ton of different carriers to bring that rear elastic expansion to the cummerbund to some of those plate carriers that are stuck in like, I don't know, 1991. Like the jerk setup on the Shaw Concepts Arc would be such a stupidly good upgrade. And it really adds a ton of versatility to the Arc V2. And that's already a great carrier, kind of like what happens to the APOC. But I gotta stay focused. The next big, big, big pro is all these swappable and configurable boards. The jerk boards add a crazy level of versatility to the user, allowing you to swap from one configuration to another, making a roll or caliber swap in seconds. Meaning you could move from, like what are some good examples? Like a 338 Lapua sniper setup to like a 556 close engagement setup. Or have like a whole breaching setup that you just ditch the moment you enter into the building. I mean, hell, like a police officer could just go from like a regular patrol configuration to like a full on active response setup. I also want to note the board is slightly smaller than the base itself, preventing hook edges from hanging over the sides when you're quick swapping between configurations. The board is just nuts and it's really just a well thought out bit of gear. And I could go on and on with pros, but one of the last big ones, I think I got a couple more, but one of the main big ones I wanna hit is that actual jerk harness. I love that thing. The harness takes the idea of a chest rig and makes it actually functional by instead offering you all of the features of a plate carrier. I can connect in full comms, markers, and identical configurations to a full plate carrier, making the chest rig configuration of this far more useful. And the whole jerk harness setup makes a whole lot more sense to me than like a chest rig configuration that holds, it holds three mags. Like, why do you need that? But honorable mention to the fact that that base can also hook into those harnesses, like the X and the H harnesses, if you wanted to do that. Also honorable mention to the kick-ass belly band rig setup. This was my favorite beyond all the other configurations due to its comfort and simplicity. All right, so I obviously like this thing uh, just a little bit, but let's get into some cons. And one kind of annoying one I found was it was super annoying to keep track of all these hook and loop covers. I don't, 
I, I think I have all of them. Moving through all these different configurations mean you have to put these covers somewhere safe and have to remember where you put them. I always try to put them in my plate bag or my pocket when in this configuration, but the harness never gave me a good spot to put them. And I've kind of been testing this setup out for a while and I have found these guys sporadically around the house, so I'm quite surprised that I haven't lost them. Now, my other con is kind of a weird one, but I wish there was like a half board for the sides when I use more legacy placards. Currently, the sides of the cummerbund is loop, which makes it so I can't connect anything in unless I connect the board along the rear and maybe like wrap it around backwards. It would be ideal to have half size boards for the side panels that you could also swap out. And then you have whole swappable placards with whole swappable sideboards, or you could just use the whole normal board. I just think having that option will make it all pretty magical. One kind of super nitnoid one is I do wish the buckles were included like to connect the actual board into like an X or an H harness, but it's super easy to use one wrap and set it all up. So I don't know, it's kind of a nothing one. But let's do something we've never done before and take a look at our chest rig ranking boards and see where the jerk stands on the board. I spent some time to add in some other chest rigs as I've used them. They're all pretty similar and I kind of put them all how I like them, but they're all almost identical, I'll tell you that. I absolutely place the jerk in first place as it gives you a full system instead of just a simple chest rig setup. As it's like a chest rig plus, it's one of the rare few chest rig configurations that I just keep around because I could just use the board to swap to totally different configurations or swap the whole thing over into a big boy plate carrier configuration. So then after all that and having this much fun with it, do I think it's worth your time and money? I think the Jerk is a great choice and it offers you a ton of lightweight options for the average civilian or the professional user to swap between different mission roles mid-mission while giving you an expandable and versatile base platform that just works great. And it's really one of those rare bits of gear that I get my hands on and I'm like, wait, wait, this is pretty sweet. So I definitely think it's a product worth checking out, but make sure to use discount code TLDCO over at javelinconcepts.com if you pick up one of these guys. And I don't know, maybe after all this, I'll stop making fun of chest rigs so much, but <laughs> probably not. But I hope this review of the Javelin Concepts three component, I forgot what that is. Three component rapid changeover system was useful in your purchasing decisions. I wanna say thanks to all of our Patreon members and all of our YouTube supporters. You guys make it possible we can show all this cool gear off to you and I can play with it and actually show you guys what's worth your time and money. And I wanna say thanks to everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below what you think about this and why it's so much better than a regular chest rig. All right, everybody, take care. You ever thought to yourself, God, I want to fly around in an annoyingly uh, small Cessna and just annoy the piss out of everybody? Yeah. Yeah, go screw yourself. He literally came from over here, just flew right over here, right over here. And he's going that way. And guess what he's doing next? Coming back around. Oh, I love that. But your chest rig's too low. It has to be at a certain height because of muscle memory and then so your plates can protect you that you don't have in your chest. Why? Stop, stop saying, stop saying that. It's very frustrating. All right. I really, I really do like this thing. Like I really do. I don't like chest rigs. I don't, but this is pretty awesome. All right, everybody. Go away. <laughs>